AB in Toshi here with Anime O Location here at Matsurikan 2016 here with Mrs. String. Hello, how's it going? Okay, so it's been over a year since you last have been here at Matsurikan 2015. So how you been since then? Um, well, um, hilariously, a lot has changed. Um, most noticeably, I am now presenting mail, and that is uh, that was a that was a big decision. That was a big step. Uh, most of my hiatus this year was dealing with my transition and deciding like, is this what I want to do before I like formally announce it, and then be like, oh, by the way, um, I'm actually not sure. I'm actually female and have to change my bio again and again. So I really wanted to make sure this is what I what I wanted and what I felt comfortable with. So yeah, most of it's just been sort of being comfortable in my own skin and uh, writing a lot of music, a lot of personal therapy never feel frightened to take time off for yourself it's very true so this is your second time here at Matsuri Khan uh, what's your thoughts on this convention with the charities and the pirates I love the pirates it's so cool I was upstairs and I think it was Peter St. Paul was like dressed as a pirate last night and he was so into it he had like he had like his flintlock guns and like he was super he looked like I haven't seen that since I LARPed last like years ago and it was the coolest thing like I love it I love themed conventions they're the best thing ever and I've never seen I don't think I've ever seen a pirate theme but it's it's really cool. Like there's, I think there's like a jail you can take photos in and like, oh yeah, and the charities was the other thing you mentioned, right? The charity's super cool. I put my cats in again this year. They're in space this year. So I, I gave the, I gave Matt Suricon some like badges and stickers. So I was like, you know, trying like, you know, bribing people with like cats is usually a good thing. So yeah, no, I love what this con does. Like it's, it's kind of like a family. It's kind of like being back, like, after like a huge like you go off and you come back as a big family reunion like especially because I know so many people from the area from like Yoma and stuff so yeah it's really cool really awesome I love being back that's one way to get me cats <laughs> cats so you have a panel tomorrow um, tell us a little bit about that I do yeah um, I'm doing the the super duper inclusive uh, LGBTQ plus panel um, I love doing it because uh, I run something called kaleidoscope project and it's very um, it's very open very inviting uh, we really want to push for allies to feel comfortable there um, a lot of I've noticed that some LGBTQ uh, people are, are somewhat aggressive and um, they want to keep their allies at a distance and I mean I'm a I'm a I'm an ally for for people of color I like to be an ally for people People of different religions so it's very weird to be on the inside and have allies because I've, I've been an ally my whole life and it's um it's it's a lot of fun I like to sort of gather everybody um, I give out free pronoun badges I'm trying to normalize them so that you know like if cis people are wearing I, I don't like using that word because some people don't like the word cis but um, if cis people are wearing uh, the badges then the trans people don't stand out so much so I'm really trying to normalize uh, like pronoun badges that's one of the things we're pushing so everybody gets a free pronoun badge and uh, we hang out we discuss stuff allies can ask questions um, if they're feeling unsafe uh, to maybe ask that question in public because there's some stuff that you know you, you don't don't want you don't want to offend somebody um, so usually the people who run the panel are very okay with answering that kind of question and we do like a we do like a like an exercise at the beginning so everyone can relax and chill out and it's, it's been really good in the past like people have come away knowing more than they knew going in which is the aim of the game basically wonderful I'm gonna have to check that out yeah, please do <laughs> it'll be fun so uh, how do your fans react to your latest release, uh, Last Hero Standing? Oh, that was a fun, that was a good CD to release actually. It was a little bit more, um, it was a little bit more guitar driven than my original stuff. Uh, I worked with the, one of the producers from My Little Pony's music actually on the first one. And I loved it, but it was very electro. And it was very, um, yeah, it was like electro pop punk almost. And with Last Hero Standing, um, we were listening to a lot of, oddly enough, like David Bowie's new album and like David Bowie's old stuff and um, a lot of like the stuff that I was inspired by so Muse, The Used, uh, Paramore, um, Three Days Grace like that kind of stuff um, and we just wanted to give it like a bit of a grungier edge um, I also really wanted to sit down and uh, there was a couple things I really needed to get off my chest that it was great to sort of sit down and write those lyrics like Teeth is the obvious one uh, Reckless is my angry song so I have a couple things that I just needed to get off my chest and fans have been really cool about it like they really enjoy it Teeth is probably my most popular song right now I think probably because of the really honest sort of message behind it so yeah they reacted really well I hope they're gonna react well to the new stuff I have coming out yeah that's that'll that'll be fun did you I don't know you were you in there were you hanging out uh, I don't think so people yeah just interviewing people busy. Busy. everywhere 
They're everywhere. They're on location. Yeah. On all locations. <laughs> <laughs> they really We're on all locations, especially anime. Every location. Yeah, no, it was it was good. Um, and yeah, the new stuff we've got coming out. Um, I'm working with a great guitarist right now, Dave Kitzberg from uh, Random J Gibberish. Uh, if you've been in the middle, uh, if you've been to YomaCon, you probably know who Random Gibberish are. And he's such a good like guitarist. And we sat down and we wrote uh, a new song, Legacy, uh, two or three days ago. And it's about civil war. I've wanted to write a song about civil war for like a really long time. Like civil war, the movie, not like the civil war. Yeah. Like be like, and we left you and you fought. Like that would be like a weird song to sing. So uh, yeah, no, it's really cool. Um, I'm really excited to release that actually. I don't know when it's coming out, but we're hoping soon. And I'm hoping to do a cosplay music video for it as well, because I really want to dress up like Iron Man. So oh, that, that's going to be cool. <laughs> my jam. Tony's my jam. <laughs> so um, are there any future or current um, projects that you're working on that you can tell us about? Yeah, um, I'm working on a new CD right now. Legacy will probably be on it. Um, or we're going to release it as a single, I'm not sure yet. But we are definitely doing a new concept album. Um, I was talking to my managers before I came out to Matsuri, because uh, I'm co-managing myself now. That's another thing that's changed. So I have a way more hands-on with my career, and it's like way more fun to, to sort of do everything myself. Um, and yeah, we're working on a new concept album. Uh, no idea what it's going to be called yet. Um, but it's very sort of... I would say it's 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 reminiscent of some elections that might not be going so well, but we're not going to use names or anything like that. We're gonna we're gonna play it cool because you know I don't live here and I I don't want to judge anything. But it's it's very much like a concept to do with what do you do in a world where you're not free to be yourself, where there there is 100% freedom of speech and people are free to hate and and there's no political correctness and uh, immigrants and uh, LGBTQ people and people of color and especially Muslims, uh, Mexicans were all treated pretty poorly. Um, and I just want to sort of explore like where that could go like because it's it's uh, with globalization sort of coming to a halt I mean my country voted to leave the EU very recently it was a very piss poor decision bad UK bad bad UK bad Nigel Farage Anyway, with globalization being a thing, um, it's very important that we, sorry, I just killed my cameraman. Uh, it's very important that we look at where that could go if suddenly the world were to shut down and people were afraid of the internet and afraid to be, you know, friendly with other countries and they just decided to take care of them on their own, like seeing what dark path that could go down, so. I'm excited about it. <laughs> so it's, it's it rage, sorry. <laughs> it's completely okay, just let it all out. So uh, is there any place your fans could keep up to date with you? Everywhere. I love the internet. Um, <laughs> the internet's a great thing, okay? Um, I would love to see you on Twitter. On um, Twitter and Instagram are the two I mostly hang out with. Um, it's just at Kieran Strange on both. Um, even with my transition, not changing my name, not changing my branding. I'm just going to still be Kieran Strange. It's, it's me. It's who I am. And um, yeah, Twitter, Instagram are my main ones. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. I'm actually going to start using my YouTube. Right? Shock horror. Oh my gosh. But please do find me because I love chatting to people and adding new people. We talk on, online, yeah. It's, it's good fun. It's good time. Cool. So, you've heard it here on Anime on Location at Maturicon 2016. Now I'm going to be a serious Austin Powers and go find my mojo. <laughs>